again. I have said time and time again that the way I come about my information is by way of personal experience. So when I've done all of these videos regarding entities, the lower astral planes, how they're these entities feeding off of our astral body through the act of sex and how sex can be used for multiple purposes and layers. Here is one of the reasons why I'm able to tell you this, especially as it relates to pornography. Years ago, I had a love affair with pornography. And let me tell you why I had that love affair. Being sexually abused, it affected me like it does with everybody to some degree. And the way it affected me the most is that it made me very distrusting of relationships. It made me not see sex as beautiful as I know it would have been had I come to it and discovered it on my own. Like in my mind, even still to this day, I see sex as overrated. I didn't trust people. I didn't trust relationships. And then having the ability to see beyond the veil and see people for who they really are and all the promiscuity, I just didn't want to subject myself to that. Now, listen to me very carefully. So I thought, well, I would be safe. I would just not have sex with a real person. And I'll just look at porn and pleasure myself when necessary. Because in my mind, the most important thing to sex is the orgasm. And in my mind, I'm like, I don't need another person to get to that point. So I'll just get some porn. It had to be a special kind of porn. I had to have porn where, number one, I had to be very attracted to the actors. The actors had to meet visually what I would see myself ideally dating or being in a relationship with. And the actors would have to perform in a way that would look like they're making love, like they're really into it. I hated that animalistic, rough, hard, wild, lower nature kind of sex. That never appealed to me. It had to be sensual. It had to be passionate, wanting to express and feel loved and desired. And then my hormones were going all over the place. And for me to come to an orgasm, I needed nothing but visuals and stimulus. I am looking to feel and express love without the lust. Okay? So every payday, I would go and look for at least one video or one DVD and I collected my porn and that was pretty much my love life. A subscriber who wrote on one of my videos, what if those of us who may not have the confidence or the option of having a so-called normal healthy relationship with someone, what if, what if they use porn as a way to please themselves. They see porn pretty much the same way that I was looking at it when I first got into it. And I totally understood and I told that person that I would ultimately make the video that I'm making now. So I get it. And I'm not saying that there's anything negative about porn in itself. There's a purpose for everything. But the problem happens when it becomes a crutch or when we go overboard with anything. I don't care what it is. There are people such as myself who are not interested or for whatever reason or want to have a human body in bed with us. And porn satisfies those moments when we may want to please ourselves or have that connection without the risk or the danger, however we perceive that danger or whatever we perceive that danger to be. So I'm not one of those who's going to outright knock porn altogether. As with anything, it is the overindulgence and going overboard that causes the problems. But again, when it's done in moderation, and it's done sensibility and we don't get too caught up on it or caught up in it, that's when it's okay. But when we over identify and over indulge and over connect, 
That's the problem. So here is where I realized that as I was watching porn and pleasing myself over a period of years and not having any real human connection, being sensitive on the level of seeing beyond the veil and tapping into different planes of consciousness. This is how I learned about the attachments. This is how I learned about these entities on the lower astral realm who have psychic cores anchored into people who are still walking on earth and using the energy of masturbation and uh, lust mongering and promiscuity to fuel their plane of consciousness, to feed off of, to experience the pleasure zone by way of us without us even knowing. I wouldn't say I was addicted to porn, but it became my relationship, and that's not healthy. After about four years of buying this porn and having this relationship with porn and no other physical human contact, and I saw what I was opening myself up to, I got up, I collected every bit of porn I had, everything, and I got rid of it. Some of it I gave away to someone else who's really into porn, but most of it, I trashed it. And I wouldn't say that I had an attachment, but I was definitely interacting with attachments, especially going to the lower astral realm. But these entities would always flee from me. And I surmise it is because my energy was so strong. My energy is so strong. I came in with high levels of energy. So again, porn in itself in moderation, in balance, and with a clear, healthy intention can be helpful to some people. I'm not going to have a judgment or talk down about it. It has its purpose for some people. But for most of us, especially those of us who have been traumatized, who have been injured, who have been hurt, who have been let down, those of us who feel unloved, it is those of us who will tend to take things like this and go overboard and go way too far and thus make ourselves more susceptible to these attachments and these entities that I've been talking about for years. So there you have it. My former love affair with porn and my general view about porn. Those who are porn actors and actresses, I have no judgment towards them either but it's like anything else doing something of this nature you must understand what it is that we are opening ourselves up to and learn and find your balance this is a world that is truly set up to keep us in extreme levels of behavior and consciousness and i've said it again and again we are on either extreme levels in a world of duality we would never find center, so therefore we will be hence off center and out of balance and it makes us far more open to lack of clarity and inability to connect and see beyond the extremes. You see? So as always, I hope you guys are inspired by me sharing my light, my truth. If it does not resonate, by all means, it's cool. It's all good. All right, that's it, guys. Stay tuned for the next, and thank you so much for spending this time with me.